Hello friends, today we will discuss the difference between client acknowledgement and TEPCO EMS explicit acknowledgement. Whenever a message is delivered to a receiver, it sends back an acknowledgement that it has received the message. To know this thing in a better way, we will discuss the EMS point to point flow and then we can proceed on to know the difference between these two types of acknowledgement mode. So let's understand the EMS point to point flow for a queue. So we have a sender who sends the message or we can say it as the producer. We have a EMS server and we have a receiver. Receiver is also known as consumer. Inside our EMS server, we have a queue. Queue is a container which holds the message. So our sender sends a message and that message gets stored in the queue. As soon as our listener or receiver is ready to receive the message, the message is dispatched from EMS server to the receiver. After receiving this message, our receiver sends an acknowledgement. It is an indication that the message has been delivered to the receiver. Now the message will be deleted from the queue. So this is how acknowledgement works. Now we will discuss the second scenario. Consider a case when we are not able to send the acknowledgement because of any reason. If the acknowledgement is not sent, then our AMS server will not be able to know whether the message has been delivered to the receiver or not. In that case, our EMS server will try to re-deliver the message again and again, again and again. So this was the quick overview of how the acknowledgement works in EMS point to point flow. Now we will see the same thing in TIPCO designer and also we will know the basic difference between two different types of acknowledgement. The first one is client acknowledgement and the second one is TIPCO EMS explicit acknowledgement. By Here we have three different startup process. One with name auto acknowledgement, second one with name client acknowledgement and third one with name TIPCO explicit. In the auto acknowledgement process, if we see the acknowledgement mode has been set to auto. Similarly, if we see in the remaining two startup process, one is having the client mode and the other one is having TEPCO EMS explicit. So first we will see the auto acknowledgement mode. Let me load both the process. It is taking a bit while. It depends on the configuration of your laptop. Forget to start the EMS server. Now my server is active and now I need to connect to the server. Now we are connected to our local host server. And now we will be able to load our process. So I will publish the first message. And if you see here, the data is so this is the content of the first message. Let's load the auto acknowledgement process. The moment we receive the message, it is automatically acknowledged to the server that message has been received. Similarly, if we publish the second message, Now this is the second message that has been received. So both the messages have been received and for both of the messages uh, acknowledgement has been sent to the EMS server and those have been removed from the queue. Now we will see what happens if we start a process having acknowledgement mode as client.
now i will again send the message and you will see what will happen so again i have sent the message and if we see here we can see that a series of instances has been started this is because now no acknowledgement is being sent to the ems server and ems server will try to re deliver the message again and again until it gets an acknowledgement to have a control over the flow of this process i will add a breakpoint after adding the breakpoint i will be able to control the flow of this process now the moment i step to the next activity we can see the creation of new instances one by one as i have already said that these instances will be created until a acknowledgement is being sent to tipco ems server so in this way all the new instances are trying to receive the message if we see in the output we can see that every instance is receiving the same message what will happen if we send the second message even after sending the second message it didn't appear here all the instances are having first message only this is because we have considered the value of max session to be 1 this is one of the disadvantage of client acknowledgement mode and that is the reason we call it as session blocking acknowledgement the biggest disadvantage of this process is that the number of messages that can be received depends on the number of maximum session that are allowed in client acknowledgement so if you want to receive three messages you have to give the value of session to be three second way is that if you want to receive the three messages and you are setting the maximum session as equal to 1 then the second and third message will be received by the queue receiver only after the first one is processed after the processing of first message the second by processing i mean to say that the acknowledgement for that message has been sent to ems server after this the second message will be received and once the acknowledgement for that second message is uh, delivered to the ems server we will receive the third message but until the first message is acknowledged we cannot receive second or third if the value is set to 1 although if you want to receive all the messages in a different session we have to give the maximum session value equivalent to the number of messages like if i give the value of maximum session as 2 and reload the process i will be able to receive both the messages here now we publish second message i will once again publish the first message and let's see whether they are here or not so if we see the output of this receiver activity we can see the second message here and also we can see the first message here this is because of the fact that we have made the value of maximum session as 2 now the genuine question which arises is that if inside client acknowledgement no acknowledgement is being sent then how we will confirm the ems server that message has been delivered for this we need to add one more activity that is confirm activity in selecting the confirm event as jms queue receiver our jms queue receiver will send a confirmation to the ems server that message has been delivered let's see this now all the messages have been confirmed and we are not getting any new instances so this was how the confirm activity can be used in client acknowledgement mode to acknowledge the ems server now now we will see how our tipco ems explicit acknowledgement works here we have received the first message but since we are not sending any acknowledgement if we proceed to the next activity we will get one more instance 
and this will keep on repeating until we confirm our EMS server that the message has been delivered. Unlike client acknowledgement, we don't have to give any value for maximum number of sessions. So it means that all the messages are handled inside a single session. This can be justified by sending one more message over the queue. And we can see here that the second message has also been received here. Whereas inside client acknowledgement mode, we were not able to get the second message until we set the value of maximum session equivalent to 2. But if acknowledgement for any of the message is not sent to the EMS server, all the messages will be re-delivered again. Here also we can send the acknowledgement by using a confirm activity. So here we can see after adding the confirm activity for both of the messages acknowledgement is being sent to the EMS server and again no new instances are created. So one thing that has to be noted here is that no blocking of session because inside because in client acknowledgement mode the maximum number of session was limited. If we give the value of maximum number of session as 2, we can have at max 2 messages. But inside this acknowledgement mode, we are not dependent on the maximum number of session. We can send n number of messages that will be delivered. So let's summarize what we have seen till now. For client acknowledgement mode, we have a restriction of maximum number of messages. Multiple sessions are created to handle multiple messages. Since we have a restriction, hence it is also known as a session blocking acknowledgement method. And acknowledgement can be sent by using a confirm activity. Similarly, for TEPCO EMS explicit acknowledgement, we have seen that there is no restriction on number of messages that can be delivered. All the messages are handled inside a single session. And hence it is not a session blocking acknowledgement method. Here also we can provide the acknowledgement using a confirm activity. If you like this video, please share with your friends. Please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any new video. You can also provide your valuable feedback in the comment section below. I will be coming back with a new video very soon. Till then, bye bye.